in this video, I finally get a chance to test out a product and do a build on a product that I've wanted to try out for quite a while ever since it came out. So I am doing an install and a rebuild for a friend at church with the ASRock Desktop A300. Hey guys, this is AJ, the CEO. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now, how is this tied into the media ministry? Well, one of these people actually um, used to be a part of the media ministry, so I'm just helping them out. So we do a lot of stuff. So a lot of this is tech stuff for the church, but at the same time, getting a chance to review. Because honestly, this computer I really wanted to use as a simplified system for some of my another client that's in the works just to control their switcher they don't need anything fancy um, but I like trying out new products and stuff like that so that's what this is so so we have the desk mini a300 with the for the am4 platform they have an Intel version I am upgrading her system with the 200 GE um, really in comparison to what she had this is a step up so that's fine we have uh, 16 gigs of DDR4 16 gigs of DDR4 and sodium capacity and we have a 512 gigabyte NVMe M.2 drive so this is mainly going to be for this part is going to be just a quick build with this because I have not used this system at all so I'm excited to see they say it is super tiny and after that I am going to be getting her computer I'm getting her computer Sunday to take it bring it here move over everything so I hopefully do not have to buy any new software transfer to Windows license all this other stuff like that so let's get to building All right, this is everything that's inside of this, and this is a lot smaller than I thought. I mean, I knew it was small, but good gosh. So we have a um, way to connect two standard 2.5 um, drives, which I'm not using. Have a bunch of feet, rubber feet, the Wi-Fi antennas, Wi-Fi card. Hopefully there's another slot for this, because I was gonna use this for the NVMe, but oh well. It includes a low profile um, CPU cooler, which I heard is not the greatest for when it comes to like the Ryzen 3, but this processor is a lot less powerful than that, so it should be good. Power block, and that's pretty much it. I mean, CD driver, which I'm not going to use, but and oh, and the antennas that connect to the Wi Fi module that screw into the back for the antennas. Um, that's about it, so let's get to building.
Now I must say, this is a super duper tiny system. Um, now on the back, you can put a visa mount on the back here, which is kind of cool. And I'm just sitting back thinking, like, what are the media ministry applications of this? So back in a previous video, I made talking about how to do a um, NDI player. This could actually, you put enough powerful enough processor in here and you could pretty much um, put the processor uh, over enough a more powerful processor in here and you can have this mounted on the back of the TV and then this could run the same software where we did where it was a dedicated NDI player in your church and on the back you have plenty of options Display port, HDMI, VGA, uh, USB 3.0, USB 2.0, and a gigabit network adapter. And obviously, you have Wi-Fi antennas on here, which I just installed. I don't believe my client is actually going to be using them. But again, you could use this for um, digital signage. Um, I mean, you can put Windows on here, which is what I'm going to do, but you can put... Um, Linux, whatever operating system on here, and I think it would be pretty cool. And then, honestly, in comparison, this was about um, $150. The processor was $50. The memory was another about $60. So right there, we're at $260. And then the hard drive, you can that's around like I got mine for around like $50. So your this whole system is pretty much was three hundred dollars so in comparison I mean that's awesome I mean you can also think about like we have a learning center so you could put this system in here and it'll be more than capable to do what the kids need to do I mean again they're not playing nothing serious they're not even doing word processing or nothing like that but I mean this is a great little system I mean and this thing is I barely say it's five pounds um, I mean, the power brick is big, but again, it's not inside of here. So this is really cool. So let me go ahead and get this over here and install Windows. Oh, also, I'm sorry. There was a um, USB-C adapter right there, USB 3.0, and an audio jack. I think it's an audio. It's a mixture. I can't tell which one it is. It's a microphone jack and a USB jack. I mean, um microphone and a stereo jack so I don't know which one it is but either way I think this is going to be <laughs> super small in comparison to what my client is using and just to give you a size comparison here here's the CD to this so it's just a little bit maybe about a, an inch more in um on each a half an inch on each side of a CD and then another inch up from there and not as wide as a CD on either way so super tiny so anyway like I was saying let me go ahead and get Windows installed on this and then throw a couple of benchmarks on here just to see how it performs and I might even put OBS on here and do run NDI just to see how it will perform so I'm sitting here editing my A300 review and realized that my GoPro did not record the last part. So all of the benchmarks and stuff like that, that I did did not record. Thank you, GoPro. So um, sorry about that. So this was pretty much just going to be a glorified build video. And I pretty much already installed this at her house. She's really happy. I um, got a text message from her today that is like, oh my gosh, it's so super fast. Computer boots up in about like five seconds. So that was really cool. So anyway, I hope you liked this just this build video. So if you did, I'd appreciate a like. Consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other great videos to help modernize your media ministry from a tech standpoint or for computers. And I will leave a link in the description to the exact parts of everything that I put together so that you can check those out if you want to. And again, all of those are affiliate codes, so just let you know. This is AJ. We'll see you on the next video. Later.